name's Nadia Burnett. I'm a senior with women's gymnastics, and welcome to a day in my life. This is where I always start my day, so come with us and we can look at what I normally eat for breakfast. meet against Cal we compete tomorrow um, so I'm just heading to treatment in order to get ready for the meet. This is a low-level light laser therapy. Uh, the idea, concept behind it medically is the red light creates a specific wavelength frequency that your cells respond to to help with inflammation control, pain relief, uh, tissue regeneration, uh, swelling control. Uh, it produces a low level of radiation as well, radiation meaning heat, not in terms of like medical radiation that you get from an MRI or CT scan or anything like that. Um, and that heating element penetrates deeper into the tissue than like a surface hot pack. Uh, it's similar to what you would get after a 30 minute warm up that you can get in about two and a half minutes. Electricity is created as a sound wave that the sound head conducts down into the tissue Kind of the same concept as the laser, it's to help with pain, inflammation, swelling control. Um, so since we did all the tissue heating and we got everything blood moving in that area, we're going to kind of build on top of that with the HIVAMAT to help move any inflammation, stiffness, soreness up out of that tendon area um, to help with range of motion, pain relief, those kind of things. After this, I'm probably just gonna head back to my dorm, relax, and get ready for practice at two. So I'll see you guys there. Handstand sticks and performance. My mom is like so adamant dumplings. about the prize being dumplings, so she's gonna bring some of those. Oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Also, I was walking my car today. You can't see right now, but I cut my leg on a plant. <laughs> yeah, and it started bleeding. Yeah, I did. Oh god! Do you remember the deal that if? Um, Vince ever just walks out the door, he owes me a riddle. Remember when I had to drink beet juice? <laughs> Remember when you burped up beet juice during the warm-up? That was nasty. Stand tall! Yes, Go guards on three. One, two, three. Go guards! Go guards! Now we're getting ready to do a bar show. Um, and Big Girl Bar Group is going to do amazing. <laughs> Only Big Girl Bar Group is going to do amazing, that's what it is. <laughs> We're one. Big Girl Bar Group is going to... BGBG forever. BGBG forever. Remember the fun. Let's go, Maddie. our assistant coach and he coaches me on ball and bars.
Um, now that we're done with bars, we're doing some landing drills, and then we're gonna do a floor dance through show because we've really been working on our performance before we go to Cal. Hi, I'm Colt. Go swig. That's Cody, yeah, our Olympian. <laughs> he said you're not making the cut. No way. Maddie's just my favorite, you know, since day one. Aww. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> a man of few words. Uh, focus on our handstands, focus on our snitch. What's the other thing? Performance! Uh, I know that Hallie takes it personally when a judge says that our dance or that we look bored when we're doing our dance and that it's not performing and that it's not quality because that's absolutely something that we can control. We made it into Sweet 16 because of a quarter, a quarter of a tenth. If we ever got into a situation where we missed out by a quarter of a tenth, I can tell you that you look back and you think, did I do anything? Ah, damn, what if I tried harder on that stick? Ah, oh, what if I would have made that fist? What if I would have thrown it? You do not want to feel that way. You want to know you have done everything that you can control and then it's outside of your control, right? And so I still think we haven't bought into this. And to me, that just means that we don't really want it that bad yet. But I hope we will get there. We just finished up with our practice for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching us get ready for the meet, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's meet day against Cal, so we're about to get on the bus um, and head over to Berkeley. Uh, and start the competition. Super pumped. Uh, we have some big goals for today and I think we're all ready to just get out on the floor and show what we've been working on this week. Hey, welcome to Chili's. No. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Okay. 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 waiting to get warmed up so getting out on the floor doing our visuals and getting used to the equipment right now. Kind of my pre-performance routine on each event is to go through and like visualize my routines and like feel the mats and just make sure that I'm prepared um, when we head into the open warm-up. This is Hallie, she's our floor coach. Hey guys, I'm Hallie, Maddie's personal uh, cheerleader when it comes to stretching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
One of the assistant coaches, I coach floor and I do the choreography for Beam and Floor. And it's a lot of fun. I work with all the girls and um, create routines for them. Maddie and I work closely together twice a day. So, yeah. Maddie is great. Maddie is one of the hardest workers I've seen. Um, she loves numbers, she loves repetition, um, and she loves stretching. We have created like, a love for stretching this year that she did not have before, and I believe that we've improved and Maddie also loves to dance now. <laughs> Maddie and I's relationship has grown because I have just exposed her to all these new dance moves oh, yeah. and stretches and yeah we have fun. Okay. So funny. I know. <laughs> oh yes, help me. Hi everyone, my name is Kyla Bryant, former gymnast on the Stanford Women's Gymnastics team. I am here in Haas Pavilion actually doing my first commentator role. Um, as an analyst for the Cal Stanford meet. Um, super excited to kind of step into broadcasting and do it like that. It's something that I've been really interested in for quite some time now, but after post-grad, I've just been kind of figuring out, you know, how life is both post-athletics um, and trying to figure out, yeah, how to break into the sports scene. So, there I am. All right, let's mark. One, two, three. Go. You're yeah. on the wrong tree! Fifth year senior. She's got this Dell check that comes up. Part of the 9 8 last week. Super and unique. Eight. Wow, she just pulled that off. Oh my goodness. Hails the dismount. Complete like a spike in the ground. Maddie Burnett's career high is 9 9. Season best 9825 came two weeks ago. I mean, she just spotted that. Look at that double layout. Just spots it right into the ground. Beautiful double layout. And this is such a fun routine. Very intense, but beautiful. Absolutely nails that Rudy. Rich Burke along with Kyla Bryant. Kyla, you met Maddie in Seattle when you were kids. You were both at a meet there alone, and you asked Maddie if she was there all by herself. She said yes, and you said, that's okay, I'll be your teammate today. <laughs> yeah, she actually reminded me of that story. I had, I didn't even remember it. Um, and then when she was about a sophomore, she was like, do you remember when? And like, no, oh my goodness. But, uh, Maddie is a very dear teammate. Oh, the amount of air she gets, wow. And she's a powerhouse. Oh, dies a little bit there. <laughs> Great student as well, last year's Pac-12 Women's Gymnast Gymnastics Scholar Athlete of the Year. And yes, Maddie is, I tell people all the time, Maddie's probably the smartest person on that team. All right, so we just finished up our meet here at Cal. Um, thanks so much for watching and following me along and seeing what it's like to live a day in my life. Go Cards!